Hey, what's up, YouTube? Joe Gass here with another iPhone and iPod Touch tutorial on how to jailbreak every device on 3.1.1 except the new iPod Touch 3rd generation. So, guys, it's finally here. They released the jailbreak for the 3.1.1, meaning you can do it for the iPod Touch 2G now, 3GS, everything, all the iPhones, all the iPod Touch except the new iPod Touch, which is the 3rd generation. Um, so, yeah. Um, I gotta go over some stuff, though. Now, what you have to do to get this, you need to be on a Mac. This hasn't been released for Windows yet, so make sure you have a Mac. Um, go in the description, download Red Snow, the newest Red Snow, or, not Red Snow, I'm sorry, Ponage Tool. Yeah, that's what it is, download Ponage Tool. Then, go in the description. And here's where all the firmwares are. You're going to want to select if you're on the iPod Touch second generation. You want to scroll down until it says, um, for it to say 3.1.1, iPod Touch 3G. Don't worry about that. Go up to iPhone. If you're on the 3GS, 3.1, um, you know, it's going to be, you could do 3.1, you could do anything, but it's the 3.1.1. So that's how you jailbreak the 3.0. 3. Point, you could I know this is confusing guys, but you could the 3.1.1 is only for the iPod touches. There's no 3.1.1 for the iPhone. If you're on the iPhone, you select the 3.1. Okay? So let's get on with this. Now, what you have to do after we do this is open up Oh, one more thing. You have to be jailbroken before you do this, meaning your iPod or iPhone has to already be jailbroken and you, before you make the video, before you um, do this. As you can see, I'm on 3.0 still and it's jailbroken. So you need to be jailbroken on 3.0 before upgrading. Now, also, this is without the 1600 error, so you're not going to get any problems with this. It's perfect. Open up the Ponage tool, click OK, I'm on the second generation. But, to get it without the 1600 error, you want to click on Expert Mode, okay? Expert Mode is what's going to fix that. Then iPod Touch, go Next, browse for IPSW, oh, it found it right there, perfect. Go to Next. Um, now, what you want to click on is hold on for a second guys you can if you want any of this don't do any of this though like I'm pretty sure once you have this selected like when it goes to custom packages hold on don't yeah I, I'm gonna check out IC cuz I don't really like IC um I don't want a recovery logo or a boot logo and now we're good to go. So now we click build. Now we go next. Now save it to our desktop. All right. What this is doing is building the custom 3.1.1 firmware that has the jailbreak on it and it's saving it to our desktop. Okay, guys. So once this is done, I'm going to come back to you guys, show you what to do after that. Back now. As you can see, it built the custom firmware for me. The difference is this is just restore, and this is going to say custom restore. This is the good one. This is the one that you're going to need. All right, so you need your iPod or iPhone plugged in. Also, uh, I got to tell you something that, like, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. This doesn't need to have DFU mode. It doesn't need to be in recovery mode, whatever you want to call it. Nothing. Just plugged into your computer. Now that you have the custom firmware on your desktop, you just hold the Option key and press Restore. While you're holding Option, you select the custom firmware. Uh, I hate this view. Yeah, this is the one I like. You do the custom restore. Choose Extracting Software. Um an iPod for restore. Everything's going well. My iPod's plugged in. It should work, guys. So, I mean, I'm not going to really sit here while it's restoring. I'm just sort of going over the rules right now while this is preparing. I'm going to go over some of the rules, okay? Now, 
Remember, if you're on the iPhone, you choose the 3.1, iPod Touch 3.1.1, you must already be jailbroken, you have to have a Mac, download Ponage Tool, download the 3.1.1 firmware to your desktop, after that, make sure you have iTunes 9, this has to work on the new iTunes 9, you should be good, alright, so there's really nothing else to talk about besides that. Now, if you guys know what this is, it's pretty much restoring. I'm going to open up Photo Booth, show you what this looks like right now. I just woke up, so... It's 9 o'clock. Yeah, alright. So, like, this is it right now. It's restoring. You got the little bottom bar telling you when it's going to be done. It's not even filled up yet, though, so I'm going to be waiting here for a while. Alright? So, that's that. Um, now I'm going to end the video, come back to you, showing you proof that it works. So, it's just finished being restored. I got a little message saying it's been re um, restored, it's restoring. It's, um, the progress filled up. Now it's booting up. And I'm going to show you, it's got the Connect to iTunes logo on it now. So, now that my iPod's plugged in, it should be coming up on the screen anytime right now. Um, connect to iTunes logo. Okay. Hold on, guys. It's recognizing a device. And I just want, now it's here, you see it? Sorry, iTunes is a little bit slow sometimes. Now, what you want to do is, is set up as a new iPod. Do not, never, I have to tell you this, when you jailbreak, never restore from the backup. It messes up Cydia. It makes it so you can't install some things. I, I don't know. It just doesn't go well. You always want to set up as a new iPod. And, um, so yeah. Then click done. And now, you're good to go. 3.1.1 software version. I hope you see that right there. 3.1.1. My iPod screen just turned on. It says sync in progress. Um, it's copying everything now. I'm going to X out of that and do that later to show you that it's jailbroken. Okay, so now I'm on photo booth. My iPod right there. Slide to unlock. It's going to give me the. Uh, no, cancel that gonna give me the edit home screen thing and it's not gonna be on your first page it's not there but what do you know second page city uh alright guys well that's it now you've officially jailbroken the 3.1.1 firmware or the 3.1 firmware whether you're on an iPhone or iPod touch and everything's good alright thanks for watching please come and subscribe and really, you might want to subscribe if this is your first time jailbreaking, because right after this video, I'm going to make a video on what to do after you jailbroke. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day.